Hi, I'm David Campos and welcome to my blog. Today, I'm going to talk about vintage reverbs. You know, reverberation is a very old form and guys had these complex spring reverbs and plate reverbs going back into the 30s and the 40s and the 50s that they used to use. And then digital delays came and, you know, uh, modules came and rack mounts in the electronic age. And then finally, virtual reverbs started to show their faces in uh, software forms in uh, music production software and DAWs which stands for Digital Audio Workstation. So actually the reason I'm making this video is because a couple of guys asked me how did we create those authentic vintage reverb effects uh, that we did on our previous video which was on the recording guitars. Uh, we, we created a Motown track and uh, I showed you how to record the guitar but what I didn't show you was how to get that authentic vintage reverb effect sound. And actually that was done inside of uh, my door, which is Logic Studio, but you could be using Cubase or Pro Tools. It's the same basic functionality. And uh, you'd be amazed today what software, computer-based software, uh, virtual vintage reverbs can achieve. So just I'll do a little video on that and show you guys how we got that effect. So let's go check out the session. Just to show you the guitar, there's two guitars that we got here. Uh, the first one is the chord that plays on the beat, on the snare. Okay, so now that uh, guitar, we put that through a plugin called Space Design on Logic. You can have a look at it over here. And what we did. We put it through a rack spring flat. So if you look here, it's under spring reverbs, rack spring spring flat. And listen to what it sounds like with it on. So with it off first. Now with it on. Okay, so now that is a spring reverb. Spring reverbs go back very far. I mean, they uh, are very, very old uh, reverbs. And these are the kind of reverbs they would have been using on Motown back in the 50s and the 60s. So that, this virtual, basically this virtual reverb actually emulates the effect and the sound of a vintage reverb, um, a vintage rack spring flat reverb. So basically by trying to get the guitar sound the same, then putting it through a, a spring reverb just like this one that I've played you, we get the same effect. Now let me show you another one. So now here's the other take. If I zoom in on that, you'll see there. So there it is. You can see I've chopped it up to pieces. Uh, and the reason is to get the best take, chop it, put everything in time. So let me just uh, put the reverb off. Okay. Okay, so that's that's the loop. That's how the guitar goes. It's uh, sort of similar to my girl, um, but we've changed a few notes in there. It's not exactly the same, so we can't be sued for it. And what I've done is again listen to the spring, the effect of the spring reverb on there. It's the same, I think it's the same reverb, yeah, it's the same spring reverb that I'm using. Listen to this. So that's giving it that authentic uh, sort of vintage reverb sound. And that's a, that's a very cool effect. It's a, it basically gives me the power, really, to, to imitate older styles of music. And there's no reason why you can't experiment with these types of old style reverbs, which are now virtually being produced, and use them in modern music. There's no reason at all. There's something really special about spring reverbs and plate reverbs. Um, Anyway, I hope that's kind of open. Let me let me show you. By the way, uh, I've even put that effect 
if you'd like to see the vocals, if I can just find them, here it is here. So here's the lead vocal. Listen to it with the same effect on. Don't you wish you'd said yes to mama trick dance? Got like a lovely lushness about it. For London, Paris, Cape Town, or some island, talking about money. Oh, my money, my money, my money, yeah. Anyway, so that's the effect I'm getting now. And in actual fact, a lot of the time the guys would also record like in these big rooms. Even the drums would have reverb on them. The snares would have reverb. So I've put a little bit of this reverb on practically every instrument in this track. So, uh, by the way, I, I don't know if you guys have noticed this. Uh, these vocals are totally different to the ones in my previous video because the client didn't like the previous... Uh, a voice actually sorry that's wrong the 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 previous singer was unavailable so uh, we landed up having to find another singer who was available because uh, that singer was unavailable to make changes to the song so we've changed all kinds of vocals and leads and the lengths and all those things and this is the final version that we got now don't you wish you'd said yes to mama trick dad Okay, so that's the track. Anyway, I hope you guys found that interesting. I hope I showed you that it's actually amazingly possible to create uh, virtual old sounding music, but in a modern environment. I mean, you know, the, to, to me, if I blindfolded you and played you this track, besides the fact that it sounds so high fidelity, it would be difficult to say, sure. Are they, you know, are they not real analog and, ver and uh, you know, real spring reverb plate effects in there, etc., etc. So, I uh, hope that's it. you guys found that interesting. Uh, anyway, if you guys are more interested in, in more in-depth kind of uh, music production techniques, I've uh, got a free ebook on my blog. So please visit my website. It's www.ecomputerrecordingsoftware.com. And uh, sign up, give me your name and email, and I'll send you my free ebook, Music Production 101. And uh, let's see if we can go down a journey together and see if you guys would like to share some of my knowledge. Thank you.